The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is a very popular breed globally. They're a loving and devoted dog that has a very social nature about them. In today's video, we will be looking at the specifics of this breed, in particular, whether or not they're typically known to have problems with their health and what common allergies they can suffer with. Welcome back to the Fenrir Staffy Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Then, how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Staffies. So if you're a lifelong Staffy lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new Staffy pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Staffordshire Bull Terrier video. So let's dive right into today's video and see what this incredible and well-known breed's health is like and what common allergies they have. As with all dog breeds, it is important to be aware of any certain health conditions that the breed you're interested in can be prone to. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier, like the vast majority of dogs, can be more prone to particular health conditions. These include hip and elbow dysplasia, bone conditions, cataracts, enzyme defects, skin allergies or mange. Staffies have an average lifespan of 12 to 14 years. They tend to stand between 14 and 16 inches at the shoulder, with males being taller compared to females. Male Staffies will weigh between 28 and 38 pounds, while females weigh from 24 to 34 pounds. Staffies have a short and smooth coat which lies close to their skin. Environmental triggers of allergies can result in common skin allergies in Staphys, including pododermatitis, which is a skin inflammation. Signs that your dog may begin to show could include frequent and or obsessive itching, licking, biting and scratching of specific areas, which can result in hot spots or open wounds. Without treatment, these wounds can get a lot worse for the dog as they can become very painful and risk getting infected. Although it's important to be checking your dog's skin for particular signs such as dry and flaky skin or even oily skin and lesions that appear around their nose, face, muzzle, ears, side, stomach and tail. If your dog starts to show any signs of having itchy skin, you should definitely get them checked out by the vet as soon as you can due to allergies being very difficult to clear up and finding the particular triggers can take a long time. Many owners will have to spend lots of time and effort to figure out exactly what is causing the triggers of their dog's allergies. It can take a good amount of time of trial and error figuring out how to help your dog, but it's an important journey to go on to prevent your dog struggling with their allergies for a long period of time. Cereals, including wheat, are very often used in large numbers of commercially produced dog foods, which staffies, like a selection of other breeds, actually commonly have trouble digesting. This could cause issues for them and their digestion, but also it could affect their general health and well-being. For example, if they start to avoid eating their food. Again, it's important to get this checked by a vet sooner rather than later to prevent any further problems from your dog developing. The reaction to food allergies will tend to appear as a skin allergy, and so if your staffy is itching, rubbing or gnawing at their body excessively, then they could have an allergy to their food. Other signs can include itchy and runny eyes, itchy ears and ear infections, sneezing, breathing issues, vomiting and diarrhea. Common allergens for staffies tend to include pollen, foods, medications, mold spores, cleaning products, perfumes and fleas. It's important to be aware that they can suffer with allergies to certain chemicals that can be found in household cleaning products. So you should be sure to keep a close eye on your dog's reactions and behaviours after you've used those products. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier as a breed is generally healthy and are quite robust in general. However, like with all dog breeds, they can develop certain health conditions like those I've already mentioned, including allergies. Your dog will feel much more comfortable and happier when those issues are checked and dealt with as soon as possible. It also means that the earlier it's checked, the easier it is to treat. There are so many amazing and effective treatments that have been developed over time. This includes new food diets and shampoos with natural anti-inflammatories to fight skin allergies. Speaking to your vet is the best way to get the most effective treatments for your dog. Your dog can maintain a happy and healthy life with those treatments and you may end up having a dog that doesn't have any allergies. But it's always important to be aware of the potential health conditions that the breed could deal with. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure you hit that like button Get involved in the comment section below and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have two dedicated Staffy videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Staffy Show.